Hello, this is Tori with Landio. We have a new 10.3 acre ranch with county road frontage and three phase electricity lines and poles along the entire western boundary of the property. This property has amazing views of the Florida Mountains. And then here's a photo of the three phase electricity lines and poles along the entire west boundary of the property. And it has road frontage along Franklin Road Southeast, which is also known as County Road B046. This is a satellite image of the property with the parcel outlined here in green. So you have roughly 420 feet of road frontage along the entire west boundary of the property. Again, here are the electricity lines and poles pointed out. And then to the east side of the property, there's a road back here where you also have electricity lines and poles. This is an aerial photo from the property looking to the west. These are the Florida Mountains. These are the Little Florida Mountains. And we'll look at it in more detail, but you can see that many landowners around here have developed their properties. And what they'll do is they'll plant trees. Look at all these mature trees growing here on this neighboring property. And speaking of trees, the landowner to the east of the property, they have an orchard. This is the road along the east boundary of the property where we pointed out those electricity lines and poles as well. And you can see those continue up along the entire east boundary of the property. So you have electricity lines and poles to the west of the property and electricity lines and poles to the east of the property. This is the interactive map with the parcel highlighted in green. And if we zoom out a little bit, you can see this is the orchard that we were just looking at. So here's the west boundary of the property. This is Franklin Road Southeast County Road B046, where the three-phase electricity lines and poles are located. Then you have this road right here that then comes to this property where this orchard is located. And then here are the single-phase electricity lines and poles. And then as we'll see in some of the additional photos, many of the nearby landowners have developed their properties to varying degrees. Here we are looking to the southwest. Again, here are the Florida Mountains. Another landowner just to the south along the county road. They've developed their property. You can see all the trees they have planted. The elevation is around 4,100 feet. Here's a survey mark around the property. From the property, you're in close proximity to Interstate 10 and the city of Deming. Deming has a population around 15,000. If we zoom out a little bit further, you'll see that in addition to being close to Deming, you're also close to Las Cruces, New Mexico, which has a population around 100,000. Las Cruces is just going east on Interstate 10. So you'll take Interstate 10 west to Deming and then east to Las Cruces. And then just south of Las Cruces, you have El Paso, Texas. And El Paso has a population of over 680,000. The property is surrounded by public land with varying elevation. Here are the Florida Mountains that you can see from the property just to the west. And collectively, you have over a million acres of public land surrounding the property in all directions. This is a photo looking north over the property. This is County Road B046, Franklin Road Southeast. And then just north of the property, you can see this landowner up here. They've developed their parcel. You can see all the trees that they've planted. And that continues pretty much all along this road, both to the east and the west. This image right here is looking north along Franklin Road Southeast. This is the adjoining neighbor to the north. You can see they have their main home there. They've got a little accessory building. It looks like they have a corral, so maybe a horse out there. These are the electricity lines and poles on the east portion of the property. And then here you can see the entrance to the orchard. These are Google Earth terrain views. This is south of the property looking north. Now we're east of the property looking west. This is the orchard right here. You can see the Florida Mountains, the little Florida Mountains. Now we're northeast looking southwest. Here's north of the property looking south. And then this is west of the property looking east. So this is the neighbor to the north we just looked at. Here's the orchard to the east of the property. Here we have the nearby developed property circled in relation to public land. And looking at the satellite images of these properties, you can see that many of them will have a main home, some accessory buildings. Some people will have a mobile home, a tiny home, a cabin, while others will have site-built homes. Some will have corrals, barns, workshops. There are no covenants or restrictions. There's no HOA. There's no HOA fees. So you can pretty much do whatever you like with your property. Just basing it from the satellite image, this looks almost like a little tiny home community. Another thing I wanted to point out is that just to the north of the property have the intersection of Franklin Road Southeast and Coyote Road Southeast. And this intersection right here, this is pavement. And the distance from the northwest corner of the property to this intersection is less than a quarter mile. So not only do you have county road frontage along the entire western boundary of the property, but you're only a quarter mile from pavement. So from this point going north, Franklin Road Southeast southeast is paved and then intersects directly with State Highway 549 to the north. And this is the intersection of State Highway 549 and Franklin Road southeast. So this road right here is State Highway 549. So if you go south on Franklin Road southeast, this takes you directly to the property. So this intersection right here is only about five miles from the property. And then you can take State Highway 549 to the east and that'll get you onto Interstate 10. So from the property, you're only about 28 minutes to the city of Deming. Again, Deming has a population around 15 
15,000. There's a Walmart Supercenter in Deming. There's a home improvement, tractor supply store. There's restaurants, professional services, grocery stores, pretty much anything you need you can find in Deming. There's also medical care at the hospital in Deming, K-12 through public schools. There's a municipal airport. Only about 27 minutes to the Rockhound State Park. And then just about 33 minutes to the Florida Mountains and the Spring Canyon State Park. This is an aerial photo of the diverse terrain of the Florida Mountains. The Florida Mountains are the only place in the United States where you can hunt pure-blooded, free-ranging ibex on public land. Here's more information about ibex hunting in the Florida Mountains. This is from the New Mexico Game and Fish Department. The property is located in Game Management Unit 25. And you're just under an hour to Las Cruces, New Mexico to the east. Again, Las Cruces has a population of over 100,000. So pretty much anything you need you can find in Las Cruces. About an hour to the south, you have Columbus, New Mexico and the U.S.-Mexico border. And then about an hour and 30 minutes from the property, you have El Paso, Texas. Again, El Paso, Texas has a population of over 680,000. And there's an international airport in El Paso. And driving from El Paso to the property is almost entirely on Interstate 10. So it's a very quick and easy commute back and forth. We have this 10.3 acre ranch with county road frontage, electricity lines and poles along the entire west boundary and along the entire east boundary of the property. Lots of usable land with many nearby landowners having developed their properties to varying degrees. This property is priced at just $14.9. All the property details are listed here on our website. The property taxes are only $58 a year for the entire 10.3 acres. We have additional information about the property and the surrounding area. Here are links to more information about the nearby points of interest along with GPS coordinates. And you can open up these GPS coordinates in a Google map by clicking this link here. We have over 100 images associated with the property in this interactive map. If this property fits what you're looking for, please go to our website and click on this Buy Now button. What that'll do is add a deposit of $499 to your cart. Then click Checkout. Once you click Checkout, this window will appear where you can enter in all your information and then continue through the checkout process. Once the checkout process has been completed, we'll receive an instant notification that your $499 deposit has been made. We'll then take the property off the market, send you over a simple one-page purchase agreement, and arrange for the balance of payment. The remaining balance may be paid by wire transfer, cashier's check, credit card, debit card, ACH bank draft, or any combination of these methods. Your $499 deposit is credited towards your purchase, and then we cover all of the closing costs. We make the whole process super simple, and it can be completed in as little as a day. If you have any questions, our phone number is on the top of every page of our website. That number is 713-597-7670. That number also receives text messages. We also have this live chat feature here on our website where you can communicate with us in real time. If we're not available for whatever reason, please send us a message. We'll respond to you at our next availability. You can also fill out this contact form here on our website or send us an email directly. Our email address is hello at landio.com. And as always, we really appreciate you taking the time to watch our videos and share our properties and our website with all your family, friends, and colleagues. It truly means a lot to myself, my family, and the whole team here at Landio to receive all the positive feedback that we do. And we are working diligently to bring you new amazing properties at incredible prices. So again, thank you for your continued support. May God bless you and your family.